Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day, <clears throat> here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon in paradise. That would be Saturday, March 13th, 2021, and uh, it's been a while since we've stopped in in Venezuela here on Collapse Chronicles and uh, you know when it's time to go looking for a poster child of the collapse of uh, civilization you don't need to go to sub-saharan Africa you just need to go to Venezuela so what is the latest news out of Venezuela Venezuelan children pick through garbage for food and valuables and uh, so what you have here as we'll meet this this shining example of uh, humanity here in a minute this is a 35 <coughs> year old mother of eight children of eight gar <coughs> eight garbage pickers oh god I am not in good shape today here guys on my own collapse going on uh, so <clears throat> as we'll find out so this woman this 35 year old woman her mother was a garbage picker I don't know how many siblings this one has so she was the second generation garbage picker and now her children, her eight children, probably more than eight children, they all look forward to a future of picking through garbage for their food and valuables. This is what uh, these children are born into. And, you know, at, at some point, you have to stop being a bleeding heart, lefty little snowflake and say, uh, well, it is their fault. Uh, you know, at, at what point is it this woman's fault? Uh, you know, a second generation garbage picker having eight children. Uh, and you cannot tell me, I, I don't, you know, don't, don't even, anyway, let's just read how the mainstream media is playing up this story. Let's look to see if we find the word overpopulation anywhere in this story. <clears throat> this is Venezuelan children of the trash. Yes. Um, Marbellis Brito holds her seven-month-old daughter Antonella at the Pavia garbage dump where the family searches for valuable items to sell. Valuable items to sell and I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> set that there. Take it away Associated Press and describe the collapse of a planet to us all. For some children in Venezuela Garbage is the main source of their livelihood. It is the only source of their livelihood. This has been the case for several generations of garbage collectors in Venezuela. Among them, Rona Kiel Brito, age 16, who, like his mother, that's that clueless uh, bimbo we just met, who, like his mother when she was a child, and before her, her grandmother looks for something of value every day in a landfill on an arid plain about five hours west of the capital, Caracas. But their work has never been so challenging. Now, we do have a C-word warning. This is <clears throat> somewhat of a corona panic collapse story, although... Uh, Corona panic is just exacerbating uh, the story. <clears throat> Their work has never been so challenging, 
the nation's acute economic crisis, uh, you know, which has been going on for several years, coupled with the stay-at-home orders prompted by the corona panic, have reduced trash output, making valuable findings rare. <coughs> this is 16 year old Rona Keel. The reality today is that you don't get as many things as before. I go searching to see what I can get, but I get almost nothing. He added, noting that in recent months, the children and adults who sift through garbage are spending more time trying to find objects they can sell or food in good enough condition to eat or feed horses, goats, and pigs. Waste, you know, meaning mean garbage, has been drastically reduced during the corona panic, particularly food from homes, restaurants, and wholesale markets. That trash was coveted by garbage pickers in Barquismito, once a, once a thriving agro-industrial city where food waste was notable. Annually, about 14% of the world's food ends up in the garbage even before it reaches the market. 14% of uh, food grown on this planet is in the garbage before it even gets to the market. And where I guess, at least here in the U.S., I think we throw out about one-third of the food we buy at the market. <clears throat> uh, blah, 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 blah. In Venezuela, in addition to the large amounts of food Tons of aluminum containers and clothing were thrown away. Furniture, stoves, and refrigerators ended up in the trash, too, because it was cheaper to buy new things than to repair them. But now, extremely high costs push people to reconsider what they throw away. Venezuela is mired in a deep political, social, and economic crisis, which many critics attribute to two decades of socialist governments that have left the once-rich oil country bankrupt. I am not getting into a... Uh, in, I, I'm, I'm not getting into this angle of the story and opening up that can of worms, how much of what's going on in Venezuela has to do with the United States government. Uh, but I I anyway, without getting into that, we're just looking at uh, the end game of collapse. <clears throat> the country is also in its sixth year of recession and its residents are dealing with soaring food prices set in dollars low wages and four-digit inflation, condemning millions to live in poverty. The crisis has forced almost five million people to leave Venezuela in recent years in search of better living conditions. But for many who stayed, adults and children alike, rummaging through garbage in search of food scraps or valuable items has become an increasingly common activity. Due to the contraction of the economy and the difficulties of leaving the country due to the pandemic, there are now more people who under, <clears throat> quote, other circumstances would have left Venezuela, said Hankel Garcia, uh, director of this economic consulting firm, I bet. Long-time garbage pickers are finding equal or less usable garbage because more people are competing for trash, Garcia said. He added that in about eight years, only about a quarter of the consumption that Venezuela had in 2013 and 2014 
may remain and uh, I guess that is where my uh, my computer decided to uh, cut this off but I you know I, I, I think we get the point uh, <clears throat> And anybody who thinks these garbage pickers are, are limited to Venezuela. But you know, when, I, when you read a story about a, a second generation 35 year old garbage picker having eight children, and needless to say, uh, you will never, you will never hear the word overpopulation uh, anywhere uh, in, in, in that story. Uh, will not see it, obviously. Uh, so, anybody who wants to know what collapse looks like, but, uh... I need to take this little dog out on a walk. Uh, now that my computer has collapsed. Are you ready to go for a walk, little dog? And we're reading New World Monkeys. Bye guys.